Good morning, everybody. This is Ray from the Great Falls Public Library, and this is another Dinosaurs in December story time. We are going to be reading this lovely book. It's called How to Catch a Dinosaur. Might get some good tips. I don't know. We'll have to read it. And we're going to sing some more dinosaur songs. So uh, let's get started. If you're just joining us, if you could, please put your child's name in the comments so that I can sing to them in a little bit. And for now, we are going to start this off with a little sign language hello song. So, and I want to show you guys. So this is my right hand, which is my dominant hand, but it's probably going to look backwards on your screen. So can you show me your favorite hand? Okay. So that's the hand you're going to use to say hello. 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 Hello, good job. And so that's our sign for hello, our sign for friends. Here's your two little friends and they're going to give each other a hug. Friends. Good job. All right, let's sing it. It goes like this. Hello friends, hello friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good morning, everybody. Do you remember what dinosaurs do to say hello in the morning? So we've been singing this song. It's a... um. This is based on a song from Jay Berry, um, but you know, we needed some dinosaurs. So, Pachycephaloruses, these are the guys with the big thick heads. How do they say hello in the morning? Do you remember? By smashing their heads together. Smash, 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 smash. Here we go. When Pachycephaloruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When Pachycephaloruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Smash, smash, smash. And that is what they say. Good job. How about Brachiosauruses? Do you remember these guys with the long, long necks? So big. So, so, so big. So when they wake up in the morning, they say hello. Stomp, 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 stomp. And if you're up moving around, you can stomp your feet. And if you're sitting down, you can pat your knees like I did. Here we go. When Brachiosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When Brachiosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Stomp, 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 stomp. And that is what they say. Good job. How about pterosaurs? Do you remember, are these guys dinosaurs? They are not really dinosaurs, but they lived at the same time the dinosaurs lived. So, big wings flying up in the sky. So how do our pterosaurs say good morning? They go flap, flap, flap with those big wings. Flap, flap, flap. Good job, here we go. When pterosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When pterosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Flap, 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 flap. Flap, flap, flap. And that is what they say. Good job. And how about these guys, ichthyosauruses? Do you remember these guys? They live in the water long nose, lots of pointy teeth, and they paddle, 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 everywhere they go. Here we go. When ichthyosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When ichthyosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Paddle, 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 paddle. And that is what they say. Good job. So for our folks who just joined us, if you could please put your child's name um, in the comment section and I will sing to them in just a second. All right, so the one that we forgot 
I'm thinking of a T-Rex, guys. T-Rex. T-Rex is a tiny little dinosaur, right? This big? This big? Bigger. Bigger than? Bigger? Okay. Big, big dinosaur. Eats lots of plants, right? Lots of salads. No? Eats meat? Okay. T-Rex. Big dinosaur. Lots of teeth. Eats lots of meat. And how did T-Rexes say good morning? Do you remember? They go chomp, 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 chomp. Here we go. When T-Rexes wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When T-Rexes wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp. And that is what they say. Good job. And welcome, Anna. I'm sorry, Amia. I probably need to get my eyes checked. Good morning, Amia. Um, so for the folks who just joined us, if you could please put your um, put your child's name in the comments, and we are going to do one more song to let everybody get their names in, and then we'll do our name song. So we are going to sing a song. This comes from the St. Louis County Public Library, and it's called Twinkle, Twinkle, Dinosaur. Do you know another song that starts with Twinkle, Twinkle? Right, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Will you sing that one with me? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. All right, this one is Twinkle, Twinkle, Dinosaur. And when our dinosaur is going to let out a great big, here's your dinosaur's jaws, roar! Can you show me how your hands can roar? Let me your dinosaur's jaws. Here we go again. Roar! Roar! Good job. All right. When he eats, it's chomp, chomp, chomp. We already practiced some chomping, didn't we? And some stomping, too. When he walks, it's stomp 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 yeah good job let's do it from the beginning here we go show me those twinkle hands twinkle twinkle dinosaur letting out a great big roar when he eats it chomp 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 when he walks it stomp 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 Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. All right, good job. All right, do you think dinosaurs get any bigger than this? Oh, I bet they do. I bet we can have a dinosaur that roars like this. Roar! Can you show me your great big roar? Roar! And our dinosaur goes chomp, chomp chomp and even harder stomp 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 here we go enormous dinosaur twinkle twinkle dinosaur letting out a great big roar when he eats it chomp 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 when he walks it stomp 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 Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, letting out a great big roar. Good job, guys. All right. Do you, do you remember how there are tiny, tiny little dinosaurs, too? There are some little dinosaurs that are about the size of a chicken. And then there are babies. And the babies are so tiny. So show me your little tiny baby dinosaur mouth right there. And how does this little baby dinosaur roar? And this little baby dinosaur goes chomp, chomp, chomp. And little tiny paws. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Let's do it again. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur. Letting out a great big When he eats it, chomp, chomp, chomp. 
When he stomps it, stomp, stomp, stomp. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur. Letting out a great big Good job, guys. All right. So we are going to sing a name song. And we are going to, we're going to start with Elena. But if someone looks like somebody just joined us, if you could please put your child's name in the comments and then we will sing to them. So we are going to start with Elena. Good morning, Elena. So let's clap for Elena. Let's all clap because Elena is here. Elena is here. Elena is here. Let's all clap because Elena is here. Elena is here today. Yay, Elena. And you know who else is here? Amia is here today. So let's clap for Amia. Let's all clap because Amia is here. Amia is here. Amia is here. Let's all clap because Amia is here. Amia is here today. Yay, Amia! And if anybody else would like to um to add a child's name, we'll just come back and we'll um we'll sing to them in just a second. But for now, we are going to try a dinosaur round. So we um so a round is when you have different groups of people. And they're all singing together, but they start at different times. So in my experience, this doesn't work so good with preschoolers, but this is a, a song that you could sing as a round, but it's actually three different songs that we can layer on top of each other if we want to. But we're not going to layer them on top of each other. We're just going to sing them um, one by one and this is based on a song called fish and chips and vinegar that i learned a million years ago at girl scout camp and the first part is about t-rexes pterodactyls and triceratops let's sing it here we go t-rex and pterodactyls dactyls dactyls t-rex and pterodactyls triceratops let's try it all together here we go T-Rex and pterodactyls, dactyls, dactyls, T-Rex and pterodactyls, triceratops. Good job. And then the second part is a counting song. And we're going to count all the way to seven for this song. But before we start that, let's count all the way to 10. Will you count to 10 with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! So we only have to count to seven for this dinosaur song. Can you show me seven fingers? Fantastic work, guys. Here it goes. One dinosaur, two dinosaur, three dinosaur, four dinosaur, five dinosaur, six dinosaur, seven dinosaur. Roar! Let's do it again. One dinosaur, two dinosaur, three dinosaur, four dinosaur, five dinosaur, six dinosaur, seven dinosaur, roar. All right. And the last part is I want you to channel your grumpiness. Don't stomp around in my forest. Don't stomp around in my forest, my forest, my forest. Don't stomp around in my forest. My forest is fossils. Don't stomp around in my forest, my forest, my forest. Don't stomp around in my forest, my forest is fossils. All right, let's sing it all again. We're going to start from the beginning. Here we go with the T-Rexes and the pterodactyls. T-Rex and pterodactyls, dactyls, dactyls, T-Rex and pterodactyls, triceratops. Good job. And the counting part? One dinosaur, two dinosaur, three dinosaur, four dinosaur, five dinosaur, six dinosaur, seven dinosaur, roar. And grumpy. Don't stomp around in my forest, my forest, my forest. Don't stomp around in my forest. My forest is fossils. Good job, guys. Let's read our How to Catch a Dinosaur book. This is written by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. And it's pretty mysterious, isn't it? We're going to be chasing this dinosaur this whole entire book. Let's see if we ever get to see what the dinosaur really looks like. 
tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but this year I know I cannot lose because I am catching a dinosaur. Look, announcements, science fair, first prize. So what's the first prize in the science fair? The red bicycle. Hmm. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. Hmm. But that's just pretend, right? Are there dinosaurs today? Do you think if we went to Gibson Park, we could find a dinosaur? I don't think we could, but we might be able to find some birds. Hmm. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? Yes, it's a dinosaur tail. Too bad about there not being dinosaurs in Gibson Park, right? That would be neat. A dino is more bird than reptile. We learned in science class that's true. This one left behind something behind. We've got our first dinosaur clue. So... What is this young man holding? Can you tell? It's a feather because lots of dinosaurs probably had feathers. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right over our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. Oh my goodness, the dinosaur got away from their traps, but they have some really great traps here. They have a baking soda and vinegar volcano. So you guys can make this at home probably. Um, definitely talk to a grown up, but it's a good thing to do in the kitchen sink and it actually cleans the kitchen sink a little bit. Um, it, and you know, it's a good experiment. What happens if we mix together the baking soda and the vinegar? And that is a Venus flytrap. Have you ever seen these? It's a plant that eats bugs and that little mouth will close and trap a fly it's the coolest thing but the dinosaur got past both the traps so let's see what happens next this clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry but we've got more in store for her so this is no time to worry what is this guys dinosaurs swim for free it's an entire swimming pool full of pink slime. Would you like an entire swimming pool full of pink slime? Starting in January, the library is going to have slime making kits for you to pick up and make at home. Probably not quite enough to make a whole swimming pool full of slime, but still, it should be a lot of fun. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can she be on to all my tricks? So they made a trap for the dinosaur out of a couple of boxes on skateboards with, what are these big red things? Do you know what those are? Magnets. So the magnets are attracted to each other. They're pulling towards each other and they tried to catch the dinosaur, but she rode away on a skateboard. And we've never even seen her face, have we? I hope we get to see it before the end of the book. Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, I ruined mom's prize winning roses. Oh, that naughty dinosaur. We made a prehistoric playground with lots of friends to play. Our dino won't be able to resist this time. She won't get away. Look, they have a box on some ropes, it looks like. And they're hoping that they can drop that box over the dinosaur and catch the dinosaur. Do you think that will work? Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed it all to pieces. She should be called... T-Rex. Yeah. T-Rex, get it? Because she wrecked their trap. 
My mom is an engineer, so I've learned a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let that dino go free. Wow, they have a robot. And the robot, I think this is a pet iguana that the robot is petting. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch that dino soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. Can you see the dinosaur? The dinosaur is cleverly disguised as a chicken. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. We didn't catch the dinosaur. I don't know what to do, but my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. What all did they make? They made a volcano and they made some slime. Oh my goodness, look at it. We did it. Look, they won first prize. They all have blue ribbons for first prize. So they have the robot, the volcano, the magnet trap, and the slime. But they never caught the dinosaur. Better luck next time. Who is that? It's the dinosaur. And it might be kind of hard to see, but the dinosaur is reading the school newspaper all about how our friends who were trying to catch her won first prize at the science fair. And that's the end of our book. I hope you liked it. All right. This has been a lot of fun, guys. Next week, we're going to do a dinosaur Christmas book. And I will try to come up with some dinosaur Christmas carols. I don't know. Do you, do you know dinosaur Christmas songs? Because if you know any dinosaur Christmas songs, I would really appreciate it if you could, um, if you could email them to me because I don't know any dinosaur Christmas songs. I'll we'll have to figure that out. Um, all right, now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. So do you remember our Hello Friends song that we sang at the beginning? Well, this time we're gonna sing the same song except it's going to be goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Let's do it one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I will see you next, uh, next Wednesday at 1030. And don't forget, there's going to be toddler time on Friday morning at 1030 here on Facebook Live. All right. I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.